Hi, I'm Miriam Shaviv with today's edition of Mastering Aesthetic Marketing. And today I want to share with you four emails that you can send your, your email subscriber list in order to generate a lot more bookings for your aesthetic practice. Email number one is an email that you should send anyone who joins your email list, whether they've downloaded a piece of content from your website, maybe they just signed up to your email list on your website, or maybe they've actually made an inquiry from you. We love sending an email from the doctor, the owner of the clinic, um, introducing themselves and welcoming the new subscriber to the list, and then asking for a little bit of engagement and interaction. Um, it's really great to pose your new subscriber one of two questions. The questions that we find work are, number one, why did you subscribe? What prompted you to subscribe to this email list today? And number two, especially if they've um, downloaded a, a piece of content about a particular treatment or about a particular body area, asking them what is bothering them, i.e. why are they interested in this treatment, what is bothering them about that particular area of their body that they might like to change or do something about. Um, this really works because it starts a conversation. It's not a heavy sell, you're not asking anyone to immediately buy something, but it really gets your new subscriber opening up to you, trusting you with information, being honest with you about what's actually bothering them. And if you handle those conversations correctly, they can develop into a very, very serious conversation about what kind of treatment they're looking for, the kind of change that they would like to achieve, and you can skillfully turn that into sales and, and into consults and bookings. Email number two comes at the other end of the spectrum. When you have email subscribers who for whatever reason have stopped opening your marketing emails, which by the way is something that you don't have to track personally, it's something that your email marketing automation platform will tell you. Uh, we like to fire off an email to them. Again, a very personal email asking, are they okay? Again, coming from the doctor saying, listen, I noticed you used to read my emails. I just noticed that you haven't opened them for a while. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Um, and the reason this works so beautifully is because it sounds and feels very, very personal. And you're generally sending it to people who do know you. They've either been hearing from you for a long time or they have actually been into your practice. They've actually had a treatment from you or from one of your estheticians. So they know you, they trust you, and they generally respond to this kind of outreach. They feel that you are being very caring for them. And very often they do write back and they do say, yes, I'm absolutely fine, I've just been really, really busy, or it acts as a prompt for them. Yeah, you know what, I've been meaning to come into the clinic for a long time, can we set up, can we set something up? Or they're just very honest with you, you know what, something difficult is going on right now. Um, and again, that starts a conversation, an honest conversation with your existing patients and existing subscribers, which depending on exactly what they say to you, again, somebody skillful, can turn into, first of all, certainly into a closer relationship with your patient, which is a very valuable investment for the future, um, but very often, again, into a consult or into a booking, depending on what exactly they say to you. Email number three is less of an individual email, it's more of a campaign, and the important bit here is the time of the year that you send it. Very often, clinics will stop marketing. By the way, like many businesses, it's not just an issue with aesthetic practices. Um, you really tone down your marketing between Christmas and New Year. You feel that people are just not very receptive to emails at that time. They're probably busy. You're, you might not actually be in the clinic. So you feel, you feel this is a time when your marketing can come to a halt and restart in the New Year. Our experience is that very often in many clinics, that's a big mistake because actually between Christmas and New Year is a time when people do slow down. They are spending more time doing quiet things. So they actually are reading their emails. They actually are open to thinking um, about the emails that they're getting. Their inboxes are a lot less crowded. And it's also a time of the year when they're thinking about what they really want from life and certainly from the next year. They're thinking very often about issues to do with body, body image, body shape, um, skin, looking younger. All those issues really resonate with people at this time of the year. So cr between Christmas and the new year is a really fantastic time to talk to them. Um, other clinics are generally not doing that. You can catch them earlier um, instead of waiting for the new year and you can catch them at a time where the, the craziness of life hasn't started up again as it does on January 2nd or January 3rd, a time which is quieter for them. Um, our experience is that very often these are some of the most successful campaigns of the entire year. If you can 
build um, a really good campaign around one treatment, one theme, maybe with a really powerful offer, um, you can generate a lot of new business so that you can start your new year in your clinic with a real bang. It can be a really, really valuable campaign. Email number four comes at the end of that kind of campaign. When you create a campaign around a particular treatment um, or a particular body area, um, you should always end it with one last email asking people why they didn't go ahead and book. You don't necessarily have to send it to your entire list. You can see in your email marketing automation platform which patients and which subscribers have really interacted with those emails, maybe clicking through to your sales page or opening your emails many, many times. People who have shown signs that they really are interested, but they just haven't made a booking and ask them at the end of that campaign, why? Why didn't you go ahead? I'm just really interested to find out why. And very often they'll be honest with you. And what you'll find is that they are basically sharing their objections with you. Um, and very often those objections are really not major. It's just little things that were bothering them, little things that stop them going ahead, which if you are, a, again, a good salesperson or if you have a good sales team, you can help them overcome those objections and turn that into a sale after all. So post campaign, um, develop, uh, generating some unexpected sales from people who are on the verge of booking and just didn't make that move until you asked them, what stopped you? Why didn't you go ahead? Very, very valuable email to send. To send. It's very important that you send these emails because of course your existing email list is one of your most valuable sources of new treatments and new bookings. These are generally patients who have seen you before, who know you, who like you, who trust you, who've shown that they're willing to spend money with you, or they are brand new leads who you really have to cultivate over the long term in order to generate that relationship with them and make sure that they come into your clinic again and again and again. Through our work with aesthetic clinics, we have developed a formula for you to be able to target your existing patients and your existing email subscribers and get them through your doors again and again and again so that you can fill your clinic without having to constantly chase those new, expensive, difficult to convert leads online. I would love to share that with you. I hope you'll find it really, really useful. So I've actually shot another little video, another short video, walking you through this three-step process, which is really universal. Any aesthetic practice can apply this. Um, I've put the address for this other video at the bottom of this one. So whether you're watching this on LinkedIn or on YouTube, just take a look below this. You'll find the address. Go grab that video. It's very short. Um, it will show you the three steps. Um, and again, I hope it'll be really useful for you. Um, thank you very much for your time today. My name is Miriam Shaviv from Brainstorm Digital, and this was today's edition of Mastering Aesthetic Marketing. Have a great day.